Hey everybody, my name is April and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So glad to see everyone. And today I'm in part of a pumpkin carving, pumpkin decorating collab put on by Mary and Tony from the Siskateers. It's their third annual. They're doing a lot of threes this year. But I'm here for it and I always love doing things with Mary and Tony. They have such great ideas and so glad to be a part of this collab. So your tasks to decorate or you know carve a pumpkin I want the decorating route. Originally I was thinking I would carve a pumpkin but we had some issues <laughs> with the Disney trip. That's the theme for 2022 for us. Anyways, so I very quickly scrapped the carving thing and went for uh, just decorating a pumpkin. And of course, we're back doing a DIY, which we haven't done in forever, which is crazy. So stay tuned just for a second. We're about to push on into that thing. Thank you again, Mary, for inviting us. We had such a great time. Really, I say us. It's just me. I decorate the pumpkin, but it is for Emma's room. So thank you so much, Mary. And let's get on into the DIY. Wait a second. I should probably tell you what kind of pumpkin I'm making, right? I should probably tell you that. So this is like a Disney collab, but I kind of went off the rails a little bit. Still something very magical, but not so much Disney. I decided to do a Harry Potter pumpkin. I, um, Emma's room is Harry Potter themed. We're slowly making our way that way. <laughs> um, it's coming together, but we're still making our way that way. So I decided to go ahead and do a pumpkin that we can reuse like every year. And we're going to do a Harry Potter pumpkin. But there's possibilities to make it into a Disney pumpkin. So. Let's get on to the DIY now. So the things that you are going to need for this project is a carvable styrofoam pumpkin from Dollar Tree, some Elmer's glue, some book pages, and some scissors. So first you're going to make sure that your book page can cover the like length, width, you know, whatever the pumpkin. Um, and then when you get done with that, you're gonna stack a few papers together and you're gonna start cutting some strips. The original strips that I cut were a little bit thicker, but you'll see in a minute that I do cut some thinner strips, but thicker strips on the bottom layer are just fine. Now you are going to take your Elmer's glue and cover your pumpkin in sections. I highly suggest sections and not like the complete pumpkin because your glue will dry. You could use Mod Podge, but you're going to use a lot of glue and Elmer's glue is cheaper than Mod Podge and it's pretty much the same thing. Here I'm just using my finger. You could use a paintbrush, but um, it's hard to wash glue out of paintbrushes, so I just use paint. Uh, I use my fingers. Also, please excuse my desk. It's a hot mess, but you know, just creating. Um, so yeah, use your finger to kind of spread out the glue. Then when your glue is evenly spread out, you're gonna start uh, just kind of lining, putting down your paper onto the pumpkin, going all the way down. Do remove that sticker, I completely forgot to do the end. And also glue, add glue to the bottom. I didn't do that either. But both things you're want, gonna wanna do. Um, and again, I'm just taking the glue on from the pumpkin and I'm also adding it onto the top. You could just do this like once you have paper all the way on it and that way it is glued down. 
And then once you get started, you're just going to keep moving on and moving on and keep covering all the sections. And then this is my first like top coat layer. There are a few bits of pumpkin still showing, but we're going to cover those up with thinner strips. So this is where I talked about earlier that I grab a few pieces of paper, book pages, whatever, and I um, cover, like I cut out thinner strips that way, like the smaller lines, plus like, honestly, this book was just a random, random book and it had... <laughs> just random words on it so I'm trying to distract from all the random words and um, use thinner strips. You could also break these in half and just kind of use halves on there too. Just do what you want to do. Another way you could do this is aging the pages by using coffee or tea. I think it's fine without that but it also would look really cool and might be something that I do in the future. So I did add at least two layers onto my pumpkin. Some areas I added three just because I was trying to add dimension to the words or I was trying to public cover up more orange. Um, you can also buy white pumpkin or paint it white. Either way, if you didn't want orange to show as much. So now I'm just gonna work on the stem. Just kind of twisting a book page around and I'm gonna add more of a curly stem. You're gonna do this by adding like some Elmer's glue onto the stem and then keep adding some as you go along um also don't mind this in the background it's, it's life box swaps are coming in for Christmas it is what it is but back to Halloween um just keep twisting the page around and stuff like that And once you're done kind of twisting your stem, that is pretty much it. It's a really easy project and really easy pumpkin and something I'm looking forward to doing more. So, you know, Harry Potter pumpkin, super easy, super cool. The way you can make it into a Disney pumpkin is, I mean, Disney's fairy tales are mainly storybook themed, but you know, you pick up books from thrift stores or like, we have a free library, um, little red boxes that you can pick up like books that way. You can find a book that necessarily wouldn't be like usable. Pages are torn, kids colored in them. Use that to make this pumpkin. And speaking of the pumpkin, here it is, right? Isn't it really, really cute? Like I said in the DIY, I just used a book that was discarded from our library. You can definitely do that too. Um, but it's not quite Harry Potter themed, right? Let's go ahead and make that Harry Potter themed. 
trying to look for like the little ridge that I've been like putting it on. Da, 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 da. I just used a pair of Emma's like little glasses that she doesn't always wear. And I picked these up from Walmart for like a dollar like a little while ago. And if you wanted to, you could add just like a toothpick right there to like make sure the glasses are held on. Because otherwise they... <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll probably like glue it down or add a toothpick to like just make sure it holds up there. Or when I have a little bit more time, I might actually like paint something on it. Uh, we could do like Leviosa on there or like... You know, do different things on there. There's so many possibilities. If you have a Cricut, you could add, obviously just add some words. But this, like, so cool. I really want to do, like, a ton of these. I want to do, like, more Harry Potter themed ones. I want to do some, like, Disney themed ones. But for today, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Mary and Tony. Go down and watch everybody else. Um, there are some amazing creators. I cannot wait to watch and see, and also peep the ears. Aren't they great? Um, these were given to me by Jake from Jake's Disney Afternoon. I will be opening them tomorrow. Um, he so sweetly gifted us a Halloween decor box. It's taken us a minute to like get it uploaded, but it will be out tomorrow. Check that out tomorrow. Uh, you won't want to miss it because the whole package like was amazing and blew me away. So. Thank you again, Mary, Tony. Thank you, everyone who participated. Thank you, everyone who's watching. We appreciate you so much. Again, I'm saying the we, but right now it's just me, and, you know, it is what it is. Um, thank you guys so much, and we hope to see you all soon. Well, in fact, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.